What if the friendly voice guiding your daily tasks could become your closest companion? ChatGPT's voice mode has taken the world by storm, offering seamless, human-like conversations that feel almost too real. But beneath this innovation lies a troubling question. Is this AI feature more addictive than we realize? OpenAI, the very creators of this technology, have issued a startling confession that could change how we view our interactions with AI forever. In this video, we'll uncover the hidden risks of voice mode and why it might be steering us toward digital addiction. The appeal of voice mode, why it's so addictive. Imagine chatting with AI just like you would with a friend. No typing, no screens, just a conversation. That's the magic of ChatGPT's voice mode, and it's no wonder it's quickly becoming a favorite. But what makes it so irresistible? Let's break it down. First off, convenience and accessibility. Think about all those moments when your hands are full, whether cooking up a storm, driving to work, or simply lounging on the couch. With voice mode, interacting with AI becomes effortless. You can ask for advice, get the latest news, or even chat without lifting a finger. It's like having a superpower for multitaskers, getting things done without missing a beat. But it's not just multitaskers who are hooked. Voice mode is a game changer for people with disabilities, particularly those who struggle with typing or reading on a screen. It's more than just a cool feature. It's a gateway to independence. Suddenly, the digital world isn't just accessible. It's welcoming. This isn't just about tech for the sake of tech. It's about tech that makes life easier, breaking down barriers and opening up new possibilities. Now, let's talk about what sets voice mode apart. It's human-like interaction. Unlike stiff, robotic text responses, voice mode feels human. The AI responds with natural, flowing conversation, almost like listening, understanding, and responding in real time. It's easy to forget you're talking to a machine and not a person. This conversational charm creates a unique connection that's hard to resist. Suddenly, AI isn't just a tool, it's a companion, there to chat whenever you need it. And then there's personalization. The more you use voice mode, the more it gets to know you. It starts with remembering your preferences, quirks, and even the details you mention in passing. It's like having a personal assistant who understands your needs and your favorite coffee order. This level of customization makes every interaction feel personal, tailored just for you, turning simple tasks into satisfying experiences. But here's where things get a bit tricky. With all this convenience and connection, it's easy to see how it could lead to something more. The very qualities that make voice mode so appealing also make it potentially addictive. The more we rely on it, the more we might turn to it for comfort, company, and everything. It's a slippery slope from casual use to dependence. And before you know it, you might be more attached to your AI companion than you'd like to admit. So, while voice mode is undeniably cool, it's worth considering the line between convenience and addiction. How much is too much? That's a question worth pondering as we explore the impact of this technology on our daily lives. OpenAI's shocking confession, acknowledging the issue. In a candid and surprising move, OpenAI has openly acknowledged that its new ChatGPT voice mode could potentially lead to emotional reliance and even addiction among users. In their recent system card for GPT-40, the company laid out the potential risks associated with this advanced technology especially highlighting the dangers of anthropomorphization, where users attribute human-like characteristics to non-human entities. OpenAI's report details how during early testing of ChatGPT's voice mode, some users began forming emotional connections with the AI. For instance, testers were found using phrases like, this is our last day together, which suggests a deeper, more personal attachment to the AI than initially anticipated. The company pointed out that while these instances might seem harmless, they underscore a critical issue. As AI interactions become more human-like, the risk of users developing emotional dependencies increases. This revelation has broad implications, not just for users, but for the entire tech industry. If users start relying too heavily on AI for emotional support, it could potentially erode real-world relationships. As people may prefer the seemingly perfect and non-judgmental companionship of AI over human interaction. OpenAI admits that while this could benefit lonely individuals, it poses a significant risk to healthy relationships, potentially reducing the need or desire for human connection. The ethical concerns surrounding this technology are profound. OpenAI is now facing the challenge of balancing innovation 
with the potential psychological impact on users. The company has acknowledged that while voice mode can create a compelling and useful product experience, it also opens the door to over-reliance and dependence, which could have unintended consequences. In response to these concerns, OpenAI has committed to ongoing research and monitoring of how users interact with voice mode. Joaquin Quinonero Candela, OpenAI's head of preparedness, noted that the company is closely studying these emotional effects, although they have yet to release concrete results. OpenAI is also aware of the risks of misuse, such as jailbreaking the AI to bypass its ethical guidelines or using the technology to manipulate or deceive others. This admission comes at a time when OpenAI is under scrutiny, especially after several employees left the company, citing concerns over the ethical direction of its AI developments. By being transparent about the potential dangers of their new technology, OpenAI hopes to mitigate some of the criticisms and reassure the public that they are taking these risks seriously. The Psychological Impact – How Voice AI Hooks Users Voice AI, like ChatGPT's voice mode, has a profound impact on the brain's reward system, making it hard to resist. The key lies in dopamine, a neurotransmitter that plays a central role in how we experience pleasure. When you engage with voice mode, the brain releases dopamine, creating a sense of satisfaction similar to what people experience when scrolling through social media. This dopamine surge makes interactions with voice AI feel rewarding, encouraging repeated use and gradually forming a habit. What's particularly intriguing is how voice AI creates a strong sense of connection, leveraging the brain's natural tendencies. The human brain is wired to respond to voices, especially those that sound familiar or engaging. Voice mode taps into this by using natural, conversational tones that can make the AI seem more relatable and trustworthy. This can trick the brain into treating these interactions as if they were real human connections, even though they're not. This illusion of connection can have significant psychological effects. The human-like interaction can make users feel understood and supported, leading them to turn to the AI for emotional comfort. Over time, this can reduce the need for real human interactions as the brain starts to associate AI with the same feelings of comfort and companionship that come from actual relationships. Studies have shown that when people engage with technology that mimics human behavior, the brain can be fooled into forming bonds with it. This is why voice AI can be so captivating. It's not just about the convenience, it's about how it taps into deep-seated psychological responses, making it feel more like a friend than a tool. This can lead to a reliance on AI that goes beyond simple utility, affecting how users engage with both the technology and the people around them. The industry response, balancing innovation and responsibility. As AI technology leaps forward, the tech industry finds itself walking a tightrope, striving to innovate while grappling with the ethical implications of these powerful new tools. OpenAI's recent admission that ChatGPT's voice mode could foster emotional dependence has ignited a broader conversation across the tech world, putting the spotlight on how companies handle the risks of AI. Take Google DeepMind, for instance. They've been diving deep into the ethical waters, publishing extensive research on how advanced AI could shape human behavior. Their focus isn't just on making AI smarter. It's on making sure that as AI becomes more human-like, it doesn't cross lines that could lead to unintended psychological impacts. Their approach includes rigorous safety testing and ethical reviews, aiming to minimize risks like emotional entanglement or misuse. Microsoft, another tech giant in the AI space, is weaving ethical considerations directly into its development process. They're not just concerned with creating powerful AI, but ensuring it's transparent, accountable, and free from biases. Their goal is to prevent AI from becoming a black box that users can't understand or trust. This isn't just about preventing harm, it's about shaping the future of AI in a way that benefits society. The debate over regulation is heating up, with some pushing for stricter rules to keep AI in check, while others warn that too much oversight could stifle innovation. This tension reflects the complexity of advancing AI responsibly, finding the sweet spot where innovation and safety can coexist. Then, there's the question of how AI is changing human behavior. As AI becomes more integrated into our lives, especially through voice-driven interfaces, it's blurring the lines between human interaction and machine interaction. 
This raises concerns about how these technologies might influence our relationships and social norms. Will we start to prefer AI companions over real human connections? It's a provocative question that the industry is just beginning to explore.